what's going on you guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a blowout taper this is the end result right here guys if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you guys hit that sub button guys hit the like comment down below any questions you guys might have regarding this video or any constructive criticism that you guys might have for the channel the first step that we want to take for our haircut guys is go about three fingers there from the temple of the head and we want to just part the hair and make sure we section everything so we have a nice clean base so we can set our guidelines for our taper my client didn't want to trim on top so he didn't mind the fact that his curls were going to be somewhat uneven from the sides he just wanted the sides cut for the time being in my opinion the number four and a half the four guard with the lever open is a great number to set a base because it just gives the hair enough darkness so it can be a nice clean taper or a fade but it, it's also not as bulky to the point where when you set the guidelines it's really not gonna give you that much trouble the first step that we want to take in our taper guys is we want to get our trimmer and we want to set a guideline that's about a finger thick but as you guys can see it's kind of like a c shaped and it's curved towards the top so i use my gamma hitters that are not zero gapped it's a soft trimmer what a soft trimmer is it's just a trimmer that doesn't come zero gap you don't modify it you don't go out of your way to make it sharper in this step i am taking down what's left of that guideline with my babyless skeletons that are zero gapped then i go in with my single foil shaver by babyless and you guys don't want to go all the way towards the top you guys want to flick out towards that middle area and just let your shaver do all the work i use the single foil shaver just to have more control of this space and now with my babyless silver fx's i'm going to set a one finger guideline with the lever open this is the half and you guys always have to set the, the second third fourth guideline according to the first guideline that we set so just follow that shape of that guideline so we can go ahead and blend it out putting our lever in the middle this is called the middle open close method we're going to have our lever in the middle and attack the guideline in the middle you guys can see i'm hitting the beginning but, and but i'm not going any higher than the middle point now that i opened up the lever i can go a tiny bit higher and then open up our lever all the way so then we can go ahead and close it now so this is the middle open closed i love doing the, the middle open close in the first guideline always and most of my taper and my fades but after this method i'm going to be doing strictly close to open so you guys want to just repeat that process of doing middle open closed until your until your guideline is completely blended and for speed purposes guys once you guys go middle open close you guys can just go close to open after that so you guys don't have to just repeat the process you guys just go, can go from a close to open lever position now that we've finished blending out the first guideline guys we're gonna set a one finger guideline using our number one guard with the lever open this measures the one and a half anytime you open up the lever and you attach a guard to it whatever number you have just add a, a half so the way we're going to blend this line out is doing close to open so we're going to close the lever hit the beginning of the guideline and then we're going to open it a little bit and go a tiny bit higher into the guideline keep this in mind though guys when you guys are working with the number one guard and trying to blend out this line it's just the softening phase of the the blending process the second guideline always takes two steps to erase the guideline so we're gonna go close to open with the one guard multiple times i'd like to say do it ar around three to four times just so you're you play it safe use the corners if there's dark spots or whatever and now we're gonna grab the 0.5 guard and do close to open guys so in this step pay very close attention how i'm grabbing my clipper i'm only using about 25 percent of my blade with the with my left hand my thumb i'm stretching out the skin so i can get a better view of how much room i have to work with guys and as i'm going higher into the blend i'm opening up the lever using that right corner so when you guys are doing and when you guys are working with your clippers guys the key to this is to kind of kind of like visualize you giving your client a massage so by that just keeping that in mind you're going to loosen up the the pressure that you apply on the clipper and when you guys apply less pressure on the clipper you guys are able to really pinpoint and use your machine 
to the, its best possible capabilities. So that just makes it easier for the machine to grab the hair and you guys will be able to blend quicker and your blends will be a lot smoother and less harsh on the guidelines. So right here with the number two guard, I went up with the, with the number two guard with the lever open and I'm flicking out doing the same method that I was explaining to you guys. Just a very soft touch. It might look like I'm, I'm going hard, but honestly, I just have a very soft touch and I'm going up and flicking out. This is the number three guard now. So we went from the one and a half to the to the half guard. We blended at that out. Then we grabbed the two guard with the lever open. We flicked out. We closed the lever with the two guard and the three guard to end with the 1.5 guard. Now we have the lever open and I'm flicking out using the right corners again, guys. Anytime you guys are working with the 0.5 guard or the half guard, make sure you guys are using the corners of your clippers. So then we can go ahead and close the lever again. And those three, uh, you guys can see the, the guard. You guys have to see those three, the three corners right there on the right side. I'm using my eyes and really focusing on the dark spots of the cut. So this is when barbering gets real cool, guys. You guys have to pay attention to every single little grain of hair, guys, so you guys can get the crispiest taper possible. You guys can see how the, the taper is just coming along. There's no enhancements. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just using guards. I didn't use no clipper over comb, nothing, to just soften up that bottom line so we can go ahead and detail the back of the neck. You guys have to make sure you guys stay and apply the same rules when you guys use the trimmer use a very soft touch let your machine do all the work work on that back side of the ear first i'm also pivoting my machine only towards the left when it came down to working on the ear then i'm pivoting and just turning it towards the right side now and it just helps for me in general when i know that the ear is lined up crispy i can go ahead and just line up everything in the back of the neck which is way easier but also just take your time guys it's two fingers from the back side three fingers from the top right there we're going to take a number four guard with the lever open and get rid of that bulk we're going to do the same thing that we did on the side taper we're going to do a c-shaped guideline this allows us to keep the the edges dark so it's going to give our taper a nice clean crispy look it just looks darker from the bottom and just gets lighter towards the top we used our soft trimmer to set that guideline then we're going to get rid of that excess bulk that you guys you guys can't really see it but just using a hard trimmer which is a trimmer that is zero gap it cleans up our work and it also alleviates some of the duties from our shaver once our work is cleaned up let's grab our babyless silver effects open up the lever and we're going to flick out about a finger to create a similar shaped guideline on top after that guys we want to grab our number one guard and do the same thing number one guard with the lever open it creates the one and a half followed by doing the same thing using the number two guard with the lever open this is a two and a half now we have basically three separate guidelines for our back taper let's go ahead and clean up the the sides so our work can be nice and clean and organized once we organize our work we want to go in with our soft trimmer and baby tap that beginning guideline so we soften it and it's easier for us to blend out and also I, I forgot to to shave the bottom area sometimes I, I forget the steps but as long as you guys are able to keep a system you guys can will be able to go and skip steps and come back and be able to reorganize your work the lever method we're going to be doing to erase this guideline is close to open you guys can see my levers all the way towards the top that means my lever and my clipper is it is in its sharpest position and i'm baby tapping the beginning of the guideline so then i can open up the lever one notch one level go a tiny bit higher now and uh my client's uh neck area it's kind of i had to maneuver the clipper on its edges because his neck kind of protrudes from the middle and it gets skinnier towards the sides so depending on your client you have to adjust and move your clipper accordingly also hair growth is super important if the hair kind of curves out towards the borders make sure you guys angle your clipper towards the borders but against the grain using the corners of your clippers of course guys now that we've blended out that line let's go ahead and grab their one guard 
and do close to open. Open up the lever a little bit, go a tiny bit higher. You guys can already see the tapers already almost getting blended. So when you guys are working through your steps and you guys have almost a complete taper, don't be deceived guys. This just means that you guys are doing a fairly good job in between steps and making your job easier on the previous step. So your goal is always to make your next step easier when you guys, when you guys are blending. You guys can see I'm only using the right corner of my clipper. And right there in the left corner, I have to angle my clipper a little bit. Now to use the 0.5 guard, we did close to open with the one guard. Now we're gonna do open to closed. So this is a little bit different because my taper's already almost blended. So I just wanted to play it safe. Right here in the left corner as I'm going towards the top with the lever open, I have to angle the right corner to get in there. And now the left corner, so, you guys have to be able to use your eyes and know exactly where to hit the, the dark spots in your taper. Before you guys even flick out, you guys have to already be creating the image that you guys want of your haircut in your head. Like I mentioned before on the previous step, I like making my next step easier. So I went in and I started flicking out with the number one guard with the lever open, using that left corner right there, flicking out. By doing this, it just gives that little bulk, that little dark area, it just, it gets denser. It's kind of like maybe using thinning shears to, to an extent. Now to use the 1.5 guard with the lever open. So we went with the, the half guard lever open and now 1.5 guard lever open. I hope you guys don't get confused with my lever methods, guys. It's very self-explanatory. Once you guys set a guideline, all you guys have to do after that is decide what lever method you guys want to do depending on just the, the whole work in general right here you guys saw that my taper was already kind of blended so i went on the safer side and opened up the lever just to play it safe and work my way from open to closed and always remember guys that pressure point and location of the corners of your clipper is the most important part of your blending process the amount of pressure that you apply and how you locate it with just your guard in general is going to make all the difference in the world i'm gonna go ahead and run through the steps really quick just in case some of y'all just got lost or something and you guys just would need a refresher We already had finished part of the lining in the back of the neck when before we started the taper. Now, the way that you guys wanna hold your trimmer, you guys wanna use your left hand to push the ear. And in my right hand, you can't really see, but I'm using my middle finger, kind of like a tripod for me to move my wrist using and balancing the trimmer with my middle finger, doing the same thing on this side over here. The more that you guys practice and you guys do new techniques when you guys are in the process of doing a haircut, the more that you guys will get better and just your hand-eye coordination will improve through time, guys. Now to hold my client's curls in place, I dampened the hair and I massaged the product in my clients. Just at the tips, guys, just make sure you just to massage it right through. It was Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Butter, I think. I'm gonna leave the products down below in the description. This was the before, guys, and this is the after a blowout taper with a number four and a half on the sides. I appreciate you guys for watching this video all the way through. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the sub button, hit the like, comment down below. Any questions you guys might have regarding this video or any help that you guys need, I'm here for you guys. I'll catch you guys next week for more haircut videos. I'm out of here. Peace.